Hey, what's happening, guys? Today, we're going to talk just a little bit about the UBIDX radio. I just ordered one last week from India, so it's probably going to be three or four weeks before it gets here and I get to put it together. But one of the things about it is it doesn't come with a case. So I have 3D printed this case that you see here. It's in three pieces. And there's going to be a couple mods to it. So here's the back part of the case. The uh, power goes in here. SO239 antenna jack. And you can see this is a relatively heavy duty. Now you'll see I have three nylon screws and one steel screw here. That's so that we can get the ground on this side where we need it. Then this is my design of the front panel. The original design that I downloaded uses this front panel. I didn't like the diagonal um, tuning and volume controls and I don't need all three of these. These are for microphone, speaker, and push to talk. So my second revision was this one here. And I did a little recess there. I thought I could paint it and make it look nice, but it's ugly. And I forgot I don't really need those, so those have to go. So now we're on my third revision, which is this right here. And you can see the uh, two-line LCD display. This is the microphone jack. The speaker jack will go here. I can't believe I couldn't find a potentiometer for the volume control. But it will go there. And it's going to use a tiny little knob that I also 3D printed. Now, the kit comes with a single-turn 10K potentiometer for tuning. That's going to be very gross tuning. One turn to go through the entire band from 7.0 to 7. Point, what is it? 350? 7.3. I don't like it. So I'm going to replace the single turn potentiometer 10K with one of these guys here. This is a 10 turn uh 10k potentiometer and I've got it mocked up here whoops so we can take a look at it bring in the meter here okay well it's gonna be kind of hard not gonna be able to see the meter there are you there we go. Why you no work? Why you no work? Oh, because one of the... One of my solder joints fell out. That doesn't say much for my soldering now, does it? Okay, there we go. So, now you can see we have much more precise tuning here. That's going to make things a whole lot easier. It's it's jumping off because this joint is loose. That's the only reason. There, I'll move it over here. So now you have to go through 10 turns to tune the entire band. And that'll make for much finer tuning. And that will be pretty nice. Now, there's going to be some other mods for this, but one of the things is when you're going to use a metal case, like here's the inside of this, this is the middle part, you're going to need grounding and you're going to need RF shielding. I was going to use carbon conductive paint, but it's rather expensive, and copper tape is cheap as dirt and you can solder to it. So the entire inside of this is going to be lined with copper tape and that will give us a point 
to solder all of our grounds to and also a point of RF shielding because if you don't have RF shielding it will be nice bueno but that's the case and like I said it's going to be probably three weeks to a month before that gets here now one of the other mods is I'm not going to use the three separate jacks there's a uh, four pin microphone jack that's going to go there and that'll house the microphone and the push to talk and then the only other jack we'll need is the speaker so I'm pretty excited about this I'll put a link down below to the hfsignals.com webpage where they're selling this there are two there are two flavors the bit x40 which is the uh, 40 meter band only and the micro bit x the bit x40 is 59 dollars the micro bit x is 109 dollars and either way that's really really low cost to get into high frequency radio so that's it i hope you enjoyed this like i said there will be more to come in the future when the radio gets here that's it i'm out peace <laughs>